Now let's look at multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers. When we're multiplying and dividing fractions, we do not need a common denominator. We are able to just go ahead and multiply straight across on both the top and the bottom. When we're dividing, we're going to get to that multiplying straight across step as well, but there's something else we have to do first. We'll do that in a little bit. Multiplying fractions. <clears throat> like I said, we can just multiply straight across on the top and the bottom. So 7 times 2 is 14 over 9 times 7, which is 9 times 27, excuse me. 243. Now, can we simplify that? Well, 14 is divisible by 2, but 243 is not because it's odd. 14 is also divisible by 7. Let's see if 243 is. Nope. And 243 is not divisible by 14 either. Let's just double check. Nope. So, our fraction is in simplest form. So we're done with that one. Let's take a look at this one. When we have a situation like this where we have a whole number being multiplied by a mixed number, we need to convert the whole number into a fraction, and we do so by simply putting it over 1. We also need to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember the process for doing so is to start at the bottom, take 3 times the whole number times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So if I rewrite we have 3 over 1 times 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 over 3. Now when we're multiplying fractions we can simplify before we multiply and in this situation we see we have a 3 on the top and a 3 on the bottom. We can cancel those out by dividing by 3 on the top and the bottom. This 3 becomes a 1. This 3 becomes a 1. Then we can multiply across. And we get 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 1 is 1. 8 over 1 is just simply 8. If you don't want to simplify before, that's fine. We can still work the problem out and it'll come out the same way. Let's just take a look at it quick. We have 3 over 1 times 8 over 3. Multiply straight across. 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 3 is 3. Then 24 divided by 3 is just 8. We end up in the same place. So you can multiply before you multiply. You can simplify, excuse me, before you multiply, or you can simplify after you multiply. Either one works, whatever you like to do. Now, let's take a look at division. When we divide fractions, there's three words or three letters that we need to remember. They are K, C, F. K stands for keep. C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Students have told me in the past that this reminds me of, or reminds them of a certain uh, chicken joint, except with the last two letters mixed around, of course. Whatever helps you to remember, but KCF, keep, change, flip. That means we keep the first fraction, so we're going to go ahead and keep 7 tenths change the division into multiplication and we flip or take the reciprocal of the second fraction so this becomes 25 over 9 the top and bottom numbers change places now we're back to exactly what we did over here okay we can simplify before if we'd like I'd like so let's do that I see that I have a 25 and a 10. I can divide both those by 5. So this, divide 10 by 5, I get 2. Divide 25 by 5, I get 5. Then, can't do any more simplification, so we multiply across. 7 times 5 is 35. 
and 2 times 9 is 18. Now we have an improper fraction, so we need to simplify that. How many 18's can we take out of 35? Well, 18 times 2 is 36. So I can only get 1. Then, well, since I know 18 times 2 is 36 and 35 is 1 less, that must mean I have 17 left over. So we have 1 and 17 18's. If you don't believe me, change this mixed number back into an improper fraction. See what you get. 18 times 1 is 18 plus 17, 35, sure enough. So there's our answer. Then, this last one down here. This one we have two mixed numbers, including a negative. Woo, kind of scary stuff, but we can do it. We know how. First step, change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Process again. Start on the bottom, 5 times 5, and then we add this. Now, be careful. If there's a negative, just hold on to that. Don't multiply it. This isn't negative 25 plus 2. It's just 25. Tack the negative on at the end. So we have 25, 5 times 5, plus 2 is 27. Now tack the negative on. We'll keep that on the top there. Then that's over 5 divided by, we're not going to change anything yet here, change this mixed number into an improper fraction, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 over 2. Now, we've gotten rid of the mixed numbers, so now comes KCF, keep change flip. So we're going to keep the first one, negative 27 over 5, change the division to multiplication, and flip that last fraction, take the reciprocal, we get 2 over 7. Then we go ahead and multiply straight across. Negative 27 times 2 gives us negative 54 over 7 times 5 is 35. We have an improper fraction, so we need to change it into a mixed number. How many 35's can we get out of 54? 1. And that negative, we're going to take that along and tack it on out front. Negative 1. If we take 35 away from 54, how many do we have left? Well, we have 19 over 35. And there's our answer. Multiplying and dividing fractions. When we multiply, we simply multiply straight across. We can simplify before or after our multiplication. We'll end up in the same place. Division of fractions, three letters, KCF, keep, change, flip. Keep the first one, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second one. Then we just have a multiplication problem. Multiply across. You can simplify before or after. Doesn't matter. And off you go. I need something cool to say at the end of these videos, so if anyone has any ideas, shoot me an email, because uh, I feel like a goof. I, I'm out of here. Good luck.